but all those plants and animals have only get get the energy from the sun. In Japan, it's normally the time for the flowers to bloom because it is the arrival of spring. All the flowers have created millions of wildlife and help it move more food and more life. Here, animals need more food. And of course, water is another way to survive. And they get air that we breathe and oxygen too. But there's only one habitat that has lots of trees. Jungles. Here, the jungles like rainforest, they have lots of rain and water. Here, they have lots of, of its plants and animals. There are many different kinds of plants, monkeys, birds, and even some type of insects. But we don't know how many they are. Here, in the African rainforest, is the rarest monkey ever. <laughs> A mandrel. got hands like us, but they have. Five toes, five fingers like us. And they got a red and blue face. And alerted to danger. <laughs> we thought they eat grass. But scientists are trying to make sure that they eat meat and they make sure they're omnivores. So their diet is mostly on, on leaves. This is a male. He is the leader of the group. Right now he's trying to find one now. And to keep safe from danger. By using his face and a loud noise. But land isn't the only place they have on earth. Water does. In these waters of Asia, animals need these to survive, to drink, and to hunt. Like the sheep has become separated from people and has to live on its own for now. They have been breeded by people and farms and to graze. But sheep are no longer a problem. They
become a very, very important group of animals. What is it? The deadly bite of the Komodo dragon lasts a second, giving that time to suffocate its prey for this massive predator. <laughs> Surprise fail, there will be a chase. <laughs> but Kamados aren't just slow like turtles, they don't turn like sheep do, but they can move with their legs to move faster to catch their prey. <laughs> Once the people have finished bleeding in cheeks, the Komodo dragons will move on to other large prey. It's now becoming clear that Komodos can take on buffaloes like the size to harvest seasonal abundance to move on.